Okay, so this video is going to be about nucleophilic acyl substitution. Okay, nucleophilic acyl substitution. So this is, again, we have our carbonyl group and we have a leaving group. Okay, we have a nucleophile that's going to come in and attack that carbonyl carbon. So remember we've got that delta positive carbon. We're going to break the weakest bond. So it's going to be that second bond going to the oxygen. We're going to get our alkoxide being formed. So the difference here between the substitution and the addition reaction, so we've talked about the nucleophilic addition reaction, it stops here. The nucleophilic substitution reaction has these lone pair of electrons kicking back down and our leaving group leaving. Okay, so we're retaining that carbonyl functional group in this molecule. Okay, and we have that Y minus being produced. Now the driving force of this reaction has to do with two main things. It has to do with how electrophilic, so how delta positive you can get that carbon, and how nucleophilic you can get this, neg this nucleophile. So how big is that negative charge on the nucleophile? There's a few ways in which we work this out. Okay, so we want to look at the, the delta positive on the carbon and we want to look at the negative charge on that nucleophile. Okay, so the two things that affect the carbon here, so the delta positive on the carbon, is the group that's attached, so this leaving group here, and whether it's electron donating or electron withdrawing. So if it's electron donating, it's going to be pushing electrons onto that carbon there, making it less delta positive. So if this is less delta positive, it's going to be decreasing the reactivity because it will be decreasing that delta positive. Now if something is electron withdrawing, so it's pulling electrons away from that delta positive, it's going to make it more delta positive. So it's going to be increasing the reactivity. and increasing that delta positive on that carbon. Now, the sorts of groups that are electron donating and electron withdrawing are the following. Okay, so our electron donating groups are, are like our amides. So remember our nitrogen will have a lone pair of electrons there. It will be pushing those in towards that carbon. So donating those electrons in and making that carbon have too many electrons around it so that positive charge will be decreased. If we had a halogen attached, it will be pulling the electrons onto itself because it's really electronegative and it will be making that carbon a lot more positive. Now, what do we do if we have a very unreactive carbonyl carbon? So say we have an amide, how can we make this reaction work? Okay, so let's look at the less reactive systems. So if we want nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction to occur, but we have a less reactive system. So maybe this um, carbonyl carbon is not delta positive enough or this nucleophile is not negative enough to attack that positive charge. So to make a nucleophile more negative, we can add base. Okay, so if we add base, so maybe we might have a... a um, ROH group, so like an alcohol that we want to add on. If we added base, we would get an RO minus. So now we've got that lone pair of electrons which will act better as a nucleophile than the bonding um, electrons that were in the original oxygen. The other way to activate this is if we activate the carbonyl group, okay? So the electrophile. How we can do this is under acidic conditions. Okay, so if we have our carbonyl group and we expose it to acidic conditions, we can protonate, protonate that oxygen and give it a positive charge. And this is now our activated, activated group. Okay. So 
So now the driving force of that nucleophile coming in is quenching that positive charge. So we've got our nucleophile that will come in and then we'll break that bond and quench that positive charge. So it'll be very, very favourable. Okay, now remember we retain the um, carbonyl in our acyl substitution reactions. So what we're going to have now is we're going to have the lone pair of this oxygen, one of the lone pairs of this oxygen, come back down. And then we're going to have our leaving group leave. So that's our Y group, is our leaving group. I'll put the plus Y minus there. And now we just need to deprotonate that um, oxygen there. So we'll have some base that's, or nucleophile that's floating around. We'll remove that proton and then the bonding um, electrons would quench that positive charge. Okay, so you'll have your hydrogen attached to your base and then you would have your um, carbonyl group, your new nucleophile attached and that's how you do it for your less reactive systems. So less reactive systems, you can use base to make the nucleophile more uh, nucleophilic or you can add acid to give it this positive charge on the electrophile, on that oxygen, and make that electrophile more attractive to the nucleophile and drive the reaction through that way. Thank you.